Good day everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to give a player the ability to double jump inside your Spagat or Bucket plugin. First of all, let's create a new class inside our project. I'm going to call it Double Jump. Next, we need to implement the listener. After that, I'm going to define a string variable, which determines the required permissions to double jump. Then we're going to create a method with the add event handler annotation. For the argument, we need a player join event. In this method, I'm going to check if the player is in survival mode and he does have the required permissions we have defined before. In that case, flight will be enabled for him. Now we need another method with an add event handler annotation. This time we need a player toggle flight event as the argument. First, for clarity, I'm going to define a player variable. Then we need the same if statement as before. So we are going to verify that the player is in survival mode and he has the required permission. Then we are going to check if the flight state is indeed flying. Alright, now we don't want the player to double jump in mid-air. So we are going to check if the block two blocks beneath the player is not air. If that is the case, we will set the player's velocity to the player's current direction multiplied by 1 and y set to 1. And the event needs to be cancelled. Finally, we need to register our double jump class as a listener in our main class using bucket.getPluginManager.register events. For the listener, we need to put our listener. And for the plugin, our main class. So this. That's it. Let's export this plugin and read out the server. Now if I press the spacebar twice, I'm able to double jump. If I'm in mid-air, I'm unable to do so. That is pretty much it. If you have an idea for a plugin I could make, please let me know. I will do my best to fulfill this request. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you would like to see more videos of this kind, you can subscribe by clicking the channel icon in the video end card. Again, thanks for watching and goodbye.